A warm good morning to all of you. I, Dr. Robin Chopra, Assistant Professor in Department of Physiotherapy at RP IIT Institute of Medical Sciences, Village Bastada, Karnal. I welcome you all in our YouTube channel that is RP IIT Academics. But before watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. So let's start the topic. So today's topic is multiple sclerosis. So we are continuing our topic with the multiple sclerosis. So we are continuing our topic with the MRI which involves the disease progate as it is easily accomplished when basically it is a objective type and the third one is it is a readily measurable basically the volume and the number of the lesions and there is an enhancement of the lesions which ultimately causes the brain atrophy and the last one is the weak correlation with the disability so now a question arises in your mind is it ms or not so basically the women are more prone than the men and the peak incidence is the third and the fourth decade having the highest incidence in the caucasians with the increased incidence with the distance from the equator and the family history involves the 50% concordance in the identical twins and 5% increased incidence among the first degree relatives so coming to the next topic that is what are the multiple sclerosis and their presentations so basically it involves different types of organs firstly starting from the visual there is a loss of vision with a dim or the blurred having the patients of the 49% of the accountancy and the second is the oculomotor impairment which causes the impaired eye movements and in some patient there is a nystagmus which constitute about the 42% of the patients and the third one is the paresis which involves the unilateral mono and the paraparesis and accounts 42% of the total body symptoms and the fourth one is the incoordination as basically the incoordination involves the extremities then their gates and the involuntary tremors and which constitute about 23% of the total ms presentation and the second last one is the gu or the bowel which mainly involves the incontinence or the retentions and it constitute about 10% and the last one is the cerebral which involves the cognitive impairment and it constitute about 4% of the total ms presentation so guys hope so you all understand very well and for more information please stay tuned stay healthy happy till then take care goodbye farewell and please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon so till then take care